Welcome everyone to the Tao of Tom. I am Tom Bergian, writer of Family Business and the Protector's Promise. If you're new to the Tao of Tom series, the purpose of these videos is to help you on your writing journey with some tips, some tricks, and the occasional funny joke. Ah. Today's video topic is covering the cost behind making a self-published book. This was inspired by a personal question that was asked of me, so here's the answer. Let's get into the financial cost. When you're self-publishing, you need to cover the cost because it's your book. So unless you have financial support, the financial costs are coming out of pocket. Your pocket. So budget for the following. One, editing. There's many types of editing that you can pick from. Research accordingly, but from my experience for a fiction book, here's the kind of things that you need to focus on. Spelling and grammar. There are people out there that will do that for you, but there's a word count cost associated to that. So look to their experience and what they've done. Subject matter. There are people out there that are gonna help you make sure that the overall big picture you're trying to convey is being shown. How they do that is they make sure you word things correctly, that you're painting the picture correctly, right? So that everyone who reads your book understands the journey of the story and that the big payoff is exactly that. So another one to focus on, structure. We're talking spacing, formatting, page numbers, all those little fun things to make sure your book looks right. You can get a freelancer or use software. Choose either. Just have another source other than yourself looking at your book. Okay, point two, format. What that entails is what's your book gonna look like on the inside? Are the pages gonna be white? It's gonna be off-white. What's the size of your book? Is it gonna be large or is it gonna be small? so that someone can carry it. Presentation matters. I use createspace.com because they have some easy step-by-step -step instructions that you could follow. And because you're doing it, you can pick the options that are for free or there are other websites you can use, but charges will vary. So do your research accordingly. But the one thing you will need to buy is a ISBN number. Now you're looking at me like, what that is, Tom? I'll tell you what that is. Ever seen the hard copy of those barcodes inside the book? That's what an ISBN number is. An ISBN identifies the publisher and the edition of the book. You cannot publish a hard copy without an ISBN number. You can get a free ISBN number, but read the conditions behind it. Read them because you might be limiting yourself. For example, free ISBN, okay, but limited distribution, so be careful. Okay, next point, cover art. Here are some questions to ask yourself. So you make a decision on getting some free software online or going to a cover artist. Are you talented in graphic design? Do you have free access to graphic tools and software? Do you have the patience to watch how-to videos. If you're thinking about those questions and your answer is like, hell to the no, hire somebody. Because that cover art is the face of your book. And people will judge your book on how it looks and how it's being presented. So better for you to work with a cover artist so that your image of what your book cover looks like can be shown. Next up, copyright. To protect your work, go to copyright.gov and register it. You can tell you're at the right website when you see the Library of Congress. There will be online applications, questions to be answered, and then you can submit your work. If you're like me and you're extremely paranoid, especially when I first started, you're gonna do multiple submissions. I'm not telling you you can't send multiple applications when you make certain revisions, but what I'm telling you is 
every time you make a submittal, you have to answer those same questions. In addition to that, explain why you're submitting that same work with the revisions. And every time you do, it will cost you the same amount. So my advice to you is only submit when it's the final work or there's a major revision. Oh, fun fact. If you're thinking about putting an image into the book and then submitting it for copyright, be sure it's a selfie or you can prove that you own it via email. Because if you submit a picture that someone else took, guess what? It's not your picture. Yeah, that's right. You don't believe me? Look it up. All right, sorry, I need to calm down. <sighs> Next point, printing and shipping. I use createspace.com, so shipping and publishing is already covered and they already estimated that cost in the royalties. But one thing to keep in mind, if you want to stockpile your own books, you can ship it to yourself, but at cost. Only do this if you have some writing events you are planning ahead of time. Next point, marketing. Marketing, man, I really feel like cursing, but I feel like I'm in that show, The Good Place. Holy cow. Freaking frack. They're pus picking. <laughs> what? Marketing costs are centered around your effort, imagination, and patience. So pick the best strategy that's based on your style and budget. So if you don't budget accordingly, people are going to be wondering why you're eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for six months straight. Like, hey, are you in a special diet? Yeah, I'm on a special diet. It's called poverty. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe. And remember, your writing dreams become reality when pen meets paper. I'll see you guys.